Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm doing this video to show you the difference, while I still have it, between the Charlie bucket bag, which in my previous video, I mentioned that I bought it, I brought it home, and it was very uncomfortable for me. It was heavy when my things were in it, just three things, and this strap constantly slipped off my shoulder. So the, the comparison is between this hobo and my very favorite hobo, which is the Clarkson hobo by Coach. And why there is such a difference that this is my favorite and this one doesn't work for me at all. So I liked, I was wondering about that and I was speaking to one of my friends on YouTube and um, she was asking me about this bag because she was interested in this bag. And I told her, well, I'm, I'm going to do a video on what the differences are. And I'm going to look into it and see what they are. So thank you for joining me. And let me show you this hobo, which is the Clarkson hobo, which I've done several videos on now. This is very, very soft. Look at the leather. It's so supple. It's polished pebble leather. And it's just so supple and soft. This is the, the, Charlie, um, the Charlie bucket bag, and this is brand new. I just got it two days ago, and um, it feels very stiff. This is also polished pebble leather. However, the difference is that this is lined in leather as well. This is lined in a fabric. This is lined in leather, and this is a Safiano leather, which Coach puts a cross grain on and calls it their cross grain leather. And they told me that they, they put a cross grain design on to differentiate it between other Safiano leathers, such as Prada's and Dooney and Burke's. So this is what's inside and it's stiff. It's not as soft and pliable as this. That could be one of the differences. These straps, are about the same. They're both the same length. They're both the same width, but the, the uh, shoulder straps, that's where the difference is as far as um, the shoulder straps. This one is much wider, much wider. I have the exact measurements and let me share that with you. The measurements of this shoulder strap is one inch, one inch at its widest, over here, and a little more than three quarters of an inch at its most narrow. This shoulder strap is three quarters of an inch, so it's just a fraction of an inch uh, less wide than the other bag. Also, this one is flat on this side. And it has a round cent central uh, stripe on this side. With this one is, is polished pebble leather on both sides. This one is not polished pebble leather. This is a smooth leather. They both have similar hardware. This one has more hardware though because this has the this has the turn lock on both sides. So this will add a little more weight to the bag. Plus as I mentioned this this leather is more more structured. The weight of the Clarkson is when I just I just reweighed them. They've been in my videos at other weights for some reason. I've just weighed them now, and this one is one pound, ten point four ounces, and the Charlie bucket bag is one pound, thirteen point five ounces. It's, that's not a significant difference. And the difference in the structure of this bag is that this is a north-south 
um, silhouette. And this is an east-west silhouette, which might account for why this one feels so heavy to me. And my theory is, without, you know, I didn't do any research on it, I wouldn't know where to begin to research that in a short amount of time. But my theory is that this is approximately a square, just about a little, it's a rectangular, but only by a little bit. That all of the things that you put in here are in one spot, and the weight is of the gravity is pulling it down because uh, our body weight is the force of how much, how we are pulled down to Earth, the force of gravity. That's what our weight is. I'm sure I'm not explaining it right. But this one, the things are in your bag that go from uh, east to west and not in one specific spot. So it's the waste, the, I'm sorry, the, the products in your bag are not, not centrally located, so it's not being pulled down specifically in one spot. The weight is, more, is distributed more evenly, and that's another theory. But I think it has a lot to do with the handle, actually. <clears throat> this handle is so wide on my shoulder that even if it wasn't falling off, it feels like it's right there, right about to fall off. Whereas this one, the Clarkson Hobo, it is thin enough to fit in that little space on your shoulder where the bone goes a little down, and it just sits there, and it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off, whereas this one does. And I think that makes all the difference, I think, to me. You might not have the same experience. You might think that this bag is so comfortable on you, and it might be. You might have different anatomy than I. But my reason for not going to keep this bag is based on the fact that it continually feels like it's sliding off, and as soon as you put your things in here, even if you wear it with this strap, with the um, crossbody strap, it's really heavy for me. And I, I'm only speaking for myself. Let me tell you some other differences. The Clarkson is, the dimensions are 12 and a half in length, 12 and a quarter in length, um, nine and a half in height, and four and a half in width. Whereas the bucket bag, the Charlie bucket bag, is 10 and a half in length, uh, 10 and three quarters in height and six inches in width. This is a lot wider. And let's see, is there any other differences? Uh, both the strap drops are 21 inches and that's, that's the only differences that, that, that exist actually. So it must be, in my opinion, it must be that this strap is very wide. And if I can remember correctly, uh, the page 21, I always had that feeling, also, page, I'm sorry, page 27, I had that feeling all the time that it was about to um, slip off my shoulder as well. And I believe they did have wide straps too. I don't know if this, if it was tapered like this. I don't remember because I wasn't able to keep that bag either. But even though I loved it, and actually that bag is my unicorn. I thought that was the most beautiful bag that of that I had purchased from Coach. I just absolutely loved the page 27. I thought it was gorgeous. But if it, if it doesn't work for you, it does, it's, what good is it really to keep? There's no, no point for me to keep it. So I hope this has helped you. I know people are about to place orders. And here's another look at the um, Charlie bucket bag, which is a beautiful bag. Here it is up close. The shoulder strap. The turn lock opens on both sides or, or individually. This is still some of the uh, wrapping. People are calling this also a tote bag. And I guess you could look at it as a tote bag as well. 
So I hope this has helped you in making a decision if you don't have access to a store to actually see this bag. But it is more structured, and that is my experience with this bag. So I want to just thank you, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate that you took the time, and I hope this is of some help. Please let me know if you buy this bag. And I really and truly hope that you don't have the experience that I did and that you're able to enjoy this beautiful bag because it's very novel and I think it would be a great addition to anybody's collection. Have a wonderful day, you guys, and I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody. See ya.